these years of working together, I've never seen so many people mad at you as they are right now. Oh, they are right now? Every interview I've done, your name comes up. Every every barbecue, Easter just passed. Okay, your right name is all the old heads that during Easter uh, was bringing you up. Your name's everywhere right now. Oh, they, oh, they, oh, for what? What I done done this time? Oh, Giddy threatened to harm him. But now still, you don't talk shit about a nigga dead son, though, bro. Like, come on, bro. You going too far, bro. His dad people know? He ain't lying. Yo, at fried. Charles, nigga, fuck with your ass, but you be doing shit like this now. And I can't even say nothing. Boom, you doing goofy shit. Oh, man, here we go, man. I had to bring him back. He's the talk of social media as usual. He He's the algorithm king, the YouTube guy, social media guy. He didn't crack the Da Vinci Code. Charleston White, man, he's back. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah. The, Old the, nigga. The new nigga kid on the comedy block. Yeah, you know, <laughs> officially, uh... What's yeah, said a new nigga kid on a comedy block. I ain't gonna lie, but I done checked out some Charleston White uh comedies. Them shit's be coming up on YouTube. I be fucking with his content and shit. Like, his shit down there boy remind me uh like some of the greats, bro. You watch him, that boy a natural on stage, bro. Ain't nothing like none of these develop nah, he a developing comedian though for sure. I ain't gonna take that from him. Like, he on to come up and shit. Natural on that stage. Like his jokes be here, he talking about down there the shit we seen, we know him viral for. Like that boy include all that shit. Like, nah, he talented though. I'm gonna get that boy flowers on that. Years of working together, I've never seen so many people mad at you as they are right now oh they are right now <laughs> every interview i've done your name comes up every every barbecue easter just okay, passed your right name now? is all the old heads that during easter uh was bringing you up your name's everywhere right now oh they oh they oh uh, for what what i done done this time yeah i, I mean yeah, a, i done done so much i mean of course the the gilly situation man a lot of people you know a lot of people love you but it was just it was, this is that one thing where people just don't agree with you. Uh, well, uh, they they agree with King Von. Oh, they agree with Dirk. Uh, I, they agree with Julio Fulio. Uh, I remember I, I talked to uh Bibby's dad. Mm. Uh, I've talked to Tuka's mom. Uh, I, man, they way they done FBG Ducks, Mama Mama Duck. So why is it? That they so mad about Gilly's son. And he was a grown kid, yeah, talking gangster and playing gangster. Oh. <clears throat> so it's only two outcomes of this life, right? So kid. why they so mad now? When it, we watch drill music <laughs> evolve and erupt. It's only two and, outcomes. And if I'm not mistaken, uh Chief Keith's new song is is dissing Tuka. Oh, one of Chief Keith's new song is dissing Tuka. Yep. Yeah, I think I heard so, about that. Yeah. I'm like, so Damn, Chief, what you here doing? we go again. See if you I'm crazy. making everybody look like a hypocrite, but because Gilly is one of their favorite celebrities, it's easy to feel sorry for him and be mad at me. And I'm <laughs> telling everybody who mad at me, <laughs> suck my d that nigga son. Damn. I don't give a f about that nigga son. Nah, bro, you tripping, bro? That nigga son was playing gangster, and you, gangsters you get. Go to but jail. damn, bro, now you talking about dead people, bro. You don't do that, jail, man. I don't cry. And I don't have Ain't no respect work, right? for Come the on, dead, huh? I don't have no respect for the dead. I have respect for my neighbor. I, I honor my mother and my father. I love my brother. I pray for my enemies. That I, yeah, nah, <laughs> nigga, but I don't give a damn about the dead. When I go to the graveyard, I walk on top of the tombstone. Yeah, I spit on the grave. Oh, no. Yeah, nigga, I don't give a damn about the dead. <laughs> Y'all do. I respect the living. So I'm saying to all hey, y'all people, how hey, this nigga wild, so yo. respect and honor for Come the on, he dead, respect them. But not honor Boy. your mother and your father. So nigga, I don't give a but damn. You know. I'm mad. I done said worse before. And I'm going to say worse again. Nah, did this be Gilly, crazy Charleston ass shit, White, though, back and forth, did it start with the pop crazy crazy situation? Shit. Yep. That's where all this started from. Because I didn't know who Gilly the King was. I just saw the Pop Hunter situation. We done that interview, right? And that's when yeah. Philly banned me. Back then, that's when, we, that's when I first had my problem with Philly. They was hollering about I couldn't come to Philly, what they was gonna do. So Gilly the King, or whatever the nigga name is, he jumped in my inbox and said, is there a problem, Goofy? Oh. 
I'll be. Nah, I sound like that boy Gilly Kane to press his ass. Like, nah, is the problem goofy? Huh, goofy ass? Tell me no son. Dallas, and when I see you, I'm gonna slap you. And my response was, nigga, you ain't never slapped a nigga who will kill you. So we've been going back and forward. So he hopped in your but, DM. Now he hopped in my DM. Okay. Remember, I screenshot it and sent it to yeah. you. Yeah, you did. I remember. So oh, now you when remember. His son, when his son. Let me guess your team was handling that? Got, no, niggas love blaming, <laughs> blaming uh, the team. You heard me? Oh, I God. remember being that on That was my team. When the news broke. I hardly have any time to get on Twitter. That was my team, my management. He ain't lying. That day. Get out and, of here. And, and one of my one of my partners, who I consider a partner, Kareem Blitz, out of New York, got on my live, and he was chastening Gilly, saying, this is what you get. You promote these lyrics. You promote this energy. As a matter of fact, Gilly, when you had King Von and Dirk on y'all podcast, and they start singing the songs about smoking tuca, y'all were dancing to it. Mm -hmm. Y'all were dancing ain't, ain't to it. They ain't gonna say all that now. When Pooh Shiesty called home from prison, that nigga was talking big dog talk. They wasn't rebuking that shit. When Jay Prince was on there making threats, they didn't check Jay Prince. So, nigga, y'all promote this detrimental shit. So, her outcome, nigga, from day one, I've been against it. If your kid die playing gangster, I will laugh. If me and you get into it and your kid die in a car accident, I laugh. If your kid fall out the car to get run over by a truck, I laugh if I don't like you. If me and you get into it and your baby get molested, I make mockery of your baby getting molested. So no, you're going too far. Baby, nigga. You're going too far. You're going too far. You are your kid. Nah, nah. You can't I'm use the fuck your baby for that, bro. Nah, bro. It's no different than the gangbanger, nigga, when they ride through our neighborhoods and shoot these guns, knowing that there's kids in the neighborhood. It's no different when Kobe Bryant got in his helicopter, and they said, hey, Kobe, it's not safe for us to fly. And Kobe said, fly anyway, and put everybody life in jeopardy. He didn't, he didn't consider those other people. Nigga, I don't need it sometimes. Am I wrong? I want to be wrong sometimes. I ain't know all that, nah. When a nigga fucking with me, I want to be as wrong as possible. So, nigga, I want to be wrong. Gilly, son, and fuck Gilly. But this is how this came about. I showed that nigga some compassion, my nigga, when his son got killed. You did, you did. I openly showed compassion, and people on, were trying on say to get cheese me. too. On say cheese. Yeah. I showed compassion. I, I poured my heart out for the man because I put myself in his shoe. Now I did. But he this still tried you after that. Everybody. I feel it a little bit. Then I feel a little bit. You kind of just Somebody taking an apology book. back. But you still you uh, going Arthur, a little far Come on, I don't act like you ain't going far enough. Children's book out. Called every neighborhood needs a Mr. Charleston. Mr. Gaines wrote the book. Mr. Gaines is a former elected official out of Detroit. Out of I mean out of Michigan. He used to be a commissioner in Michigan. So he's wrote several books. So he's a fan of Wallow and Gillies. He's a fan of Charleston White. So by him being a fan of Charleston White and Wallow, he was hoping that he could promote the book to, to Gilly and Wallow and them. So, you know, I, I openly showed compassion, homie. So the dude promoting the book, Mr. Gaines, uh, man, Gilly, Gilly, you know, he got disrespectful. You know, why you from working with this dude, uh, he's a rat, he's a snitch, he ain't never been nothing in his 20s. And I'm saying, nigga, uh, is that how y'all celebrity niggas look at us? Because y'all <laughs> became celebrities and, and we were single dads or uh, raising our children while you were writing rap lyrics on the road? Nigga, we was at home raising our kids, making right choices where I don't have to snitch. See, I ain't been no criminal, homie. I wasn't no criminal in my 20s. I wasn't no criminal in my thirties. I've never, I, I've never been an adult criminal. Oh, adult. Okay, okay, okay. I was so, gonna say, nigga, boy, you done so, told me some stories now. Oh, uh, you gotta stand on business. I said, well, damn. This how this nigga really feel? Even you if told me he them. had these feelings in the beginning, you can't even say it because you're, you know, you know why I can't died. say it. I went out my way and chastised a friend and told my friend, Nah, homie, you wrong, nigga. You gonna do this? So, nigga, uh, I take my compassion back. Yo, son. Nigga, as a matter of fact, I hope the killers are forgiven by God. 
and live a long life of redemption. Now he's wild. not losing sleep. I ain't lost one sleep, nigga, over my victim. <laughs> live a long life of redemption and don't lose one ounce of sleep over and cheese. I think Cheese got what he deserved, nigga. Like every gangster who died in the streets, they get what they deserve. Like every gangster go to jail, nigga, they get what they deserve. So who crying for a gangster nigga who got killed? Who feel bad because we making mockery of a gangster who got killed? Ain't this what we do in the black community? We did it with FBG Duck. We did it with Tuka. We did it with King Von. We did it with Nipsey. We did it with Tupac. We did it with You Biggie. did it. What make this boy so special your when we ain't on these niggas. about his death? Your ass be going out your way to sell this bullshit by these niggas. Your ass be the hater. Your ass got all these statements. Come on, trust Don't even cat like that putting this shit on us. He ain't lying. We, we fucked it with Nipsey you now. You was hating on that nigga until you, you learned his name. You taught me his real name. I'm going to give that. I think it was like Aramis or some shit like that. I'm like, oh, nah. Be snap. But come on now, Charleston. That was you. <laughs> Don't do that, gang. Crazy. And who made up the rules that you can't talk about dead people? Show me where you can't work. Show me where you ain't supposed to talk about the dead. And then show me where karma is real. Where karma go get you for talking about the dead. I'm still waiting for white people to get their karma for slavery. Slavery lasted 400 years. How they long do we say been it. out of they slavery that. and white people still selfish. ain't got their karma? And they say uh, the other one too. What about the police officer who was rehired? He was last. To he shall be rights? first. He ain't got his karma. We have been last. So I don't believe on, in karma. You, you got and nobody that cat wins, huh? And nothing go happen to you. Now, I do want to talk about the the karma thing because you called your son on live, and and a lot of people are are are, are speaking about you know you're giving now you're you're letting energy into your son's life now now people are wishing and. They know you got a son, so they want something to bad happen to your son, so it could be a ha ha, this and that. Well, why is YMW Melly still alive? If I, if, if energy and karma is real, then <clears throat> let me see. Do you? Man, it ain't always buy energy and karma, bro. Some niggas gonna stand on business, bro. Some niggas about more on principle. Fuck all that other shit you talking about. You fuck with the right person, people. You feel me, gang? They gonna come fuck with your stupid ass. They gonna come find your ass, knock on that door, and handle business. Think that shit ain't gonna happen. All right. Get energy and karma for words or for actions? Yeah, all right, buddy. Actions. Actions or words? Actions. I feel like come I'm getting my little flow state right now, chat. Fuck with it. My son is not a criminal. My son is not a popular, well-known rapper walking around with jewelry. My son is unrecognizable to the world. Until you what got him on live. Come for him? But you got him on live, though. You feel because me? Because his dad said, hey, oh, well, you let me up. tease this nigga who can't call his son. So yeah. if karma and energy... That's going to make the right nigga put a hit out again. I ain't going to lie. The right nigga with the right amount of bread. Go, put that bread in the right people's hands and... The right, you heard me? I ain't gonna say the right shit gonna happen, but shit gonna fall into place for said person. It's real. What about all the good karma that I'm supposed to get for working with the kids? Why you don't nobody up. ever say, hey? You getting that bread now. Look look at your wrist. Look at the finger. Look at the, look at the bottom row. You heard me? Look at them pointers on the air. Come on, guys. You gotta, you gotta be grateful for certain things. You woke up today. You still got your other eye. You feel me? It's still healthy. Come on now. Hey, man, you got some good energy coming. You never heard people say that. You never hear people say, hey, you've been taking care of kids for so long, you got some great karma coming. You never heard people say that. So I don't believe karma or energy. Because if energy is, is really real, when do white people get theirs for their hateful energy? All the Karens, all the women who done accuse niggas of wrongfully raping them. When do they get theirs? Hey, he talking, boy. If karma and energy is really... I ain't gonna drop the sauce, but boy, he be saying some shit, but then he be saying some shit. Like, bro, what is you talking about, bro? And, real. Oh. and why don't people ever say this for doing good? Why is karma always associated with bad? Why? So I don't believe in none of that shit, my nigga.
I believe you reaping what you sow. You don't reap in what you say. Because if you really reap energy and karma in what you say, we all be in trouble for the things we say in relationships. We all be in trouble for the thing we say to our baby mamas. Think we not? And our baby daddies. <clears throat> we'll all be in trouble for the things we say in the car when we get cut I off. I think in we road might be rage. already again. If karma and energy is really real. Not road rage, get people crashing So out, I don't believe on. none of that. I don't think nothing gonna happen to my son. So what was Gilly's son karma? What did he do in life? What did Tamir Rice? Trayvon Martin, what was, what <laughs> karma got them for <laughs> that? And when do George Zimmerman get his karma? Think about this. George Zimmerman sold the Skittles and the gun. And George Zimmerman got a lawsuit out against Trayvon Martin and mom and daddy. When do he get his karma? When do the Catholic priests get their karma? So For all doing. the molestation that they did. When do the child sex traffickers get they karma? Judgment day, I believe When do the so. politicians get they karma? I believe we'll all be judged then. Why is Ooh, karma shit. only for poor people? Because you never hear rich people talk about karma. Because they rob, steal, kill, and destroy. You never hear rich people talk about karma. Well, I'll be hearing rich, a stay rich, poor. And by the way, that's a Buddhist. Got a grind to get rich. Let, let me ask you this though, made it because I, I've seen you get into it with a lot of people. But don't you feel like sometimes, well, everybody you get into it with, do you always got to go below the belt? Yeah. Why? I I go to below the you belt with my do. wife. If me and my brother argue, nigga, ah, right, that's why your daddy don't come see you, nigga. That's why your grandma on your daddy's side died. I go listen. I go to below the belt with anybody I have an altercation with. Because, nigga, when the gloves are off, the gloves are off. Who fight with limitations? Who put restrictions on, <clears throat> on fighting? Now you talking, though. He talking. Well, man, you... No, nah, homie, when we into it, nothing is off limits, even if you my woman. But yeah, sure you can't take that, though. That's why your daddy tried to fuck when you was a kid. That's why your daddy would molest when your sister... Ho got me fucked up. Come on now, you ain't had to tell the internet this. You ain't had to tell, you ain't had to tell Say Cheese this shit, dawg. Why Say Cheese gotta know this? Sean Cotton then got you turned up, now you over here talking shit about your wife. Exposing her. Saying this to you, be saying to her when you mad at her, like, damn, she ain't even here. Now I'm a mean motherfucker when we argue. You been not, man, nah, I'm a mean motherfucker. Nah, nah, he, he, he fucked up. So, no, so let me be. Because you already know what kind of mouth I got. So, let me be. Now, I mean, multiple people said you're banned from Philly. You I say mean, I'm banned from Philly? Well, they they said that five years ago. And when I went to Philly, I sold out. Yeah, they, everywhere they say I'm banned from. But, nigga, I ain't never been to Philly other than going to do a comedy show in uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey. I don't have a big fan base in Philly. I go where my fans are. I wouldn't go to Utah. I ain't, I ain't shit in Utah for me. I'm a Southern guy. Philly is more segregated than the South. Philly, Philly conditions, if you stay for three days, is a depressing condition. Very depressing. Oh. Uh, it's like The Walking Dead, and that's outside of Kingston. I rode through there. Oh, you talking about you talking about Kensington? Yeah, Kensington. So it's it's not a vibrant place. I'm a vibrant nigga. I like strip club. Philly ain't got no motherfucking strip club. They got a few of them. Nigga, they ain't got like what we. Wait, talking about holding the walls? Those do not count, gang. That thing there like a motel, hotel. Like it's no motel, bro. No. No. It ain't like it oh, ecstasy and shit like sweatshop ass shit. That nah. That's what I'm saying. So, so to come from the south <laughs> in such a in, in a metropolitan area like Dallas, Fort Worth, to go to Philly, 
you wouldn't want to stay long because just the visual environment, just the, the, the visual of how the environment looks, homie, it looks gloomy. The buildings are old. And I'm saying, I'm saying this when I was there. How can anybody thrive here? Look at these conditions. How can it look at the kids, homie? And, and, and the violence, the violence amongst the youth is unlike no other. So if that's the case, then the future for Philly doesn't look bright because the children are 100% of the future. So when you look at the condition that these children are born and grow up in, you look at the lack of resources in these conditions, you look at the despair. Bizu. Bizu. Homie, who's gonna be, who's gonna thrive out of those conditions? Who's going to make it out of those conditions? So the city don't put back into the infrastructures. Mm. When you look at the grassroots organizations, they're not getting a lot of funding for after school. Homie, I studied that shit. Remember, I was going to go back and do trash pickup. Remember, I was going to partner with Allen Iverson, Big Reed, to come do community work there. So I started studying the conditions. Wallow and Gilly trying to go do prison reform while uplifting gangster codes, rules and on a podcast in the light. So I'm saying, homie, who got compassion for a nigga whose son got playing gangster, talking gangster, and the daddy still acting gangster? Who got compassion when y'all didn't have no compassion for Miss Dominique, Tuka's mother? Mm. So man, that nigga and anybody who mad about what I'm saying, my tune ain't changed. I've been saying F dead rapper nigga kids. I said F Nipsey Hussle. I said F King Von, Drake Yo the Ruler, Slim Four. I've been saying F these niggas. Who's surprised about this? And I'm gonna say F some more. <laughs> Gillis, I'm gonna say F some more. That boy said he ain't slowing down. No time soon. I said. The kids at the Uvalde school shooting. Nigga, I said, F them kids at Sandy Hook school shooting. F them white kids, F them Mexican kids, nigga. Them ain't our babies. Tripping. And he ain't no baby. That's a grown nigga got killed in the streets, nigga. Kill about no grown nigga getting killed in the streets. I care about babies dying. You don't think the power of the tongue is real, though? No. Because if the power of the tongue is real, all that shit my mama been talking about prosperity and, and, and multiplying and she ain't got no rewards and she been paying tithes and all. No, hell no. Hell no, that tongue, the power of the tongue ain't real. Why a nigga can't talk his way to no money then? Nigga be, nigga, I'm, I'm for the hit, boy. I'm, I'm just my year old. Nigga, why nigga can't talk his way to no money if the power of the tongue is real? You literally on the interview right now, yo, boy. That's all. <laughs> this nigga tweaking me, so this nigga literally on the interview right now talking about, oh, the manifestation, blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, why you can't talk about, why you can't talk in How you got the bread, bro? Ain't you talk money? I remember you, I remember the story you told, bro. Come on, your story, if you change it, Charles, you stop with that bullshit. All I want to know. Why nigga can't talk his way into success if the power of the tongue is real? You did. That's all I'm saying. So I don't believe in none of that. I believe in you reap what you sow. In when actions, not you get back what you say. Because you say a lot of shit. People say a lot of shit they don't mean and they don't do. But nigga, I mean every goddamn thing I say. Be careful. I mean you, everything I Be careful when you say that shit now, because when they play that back in court, they're going to they gonna make sure they, they got this part right here on loop replay. What are you talking about? Oh, you mean everything you say? Every, yeah, loop replay. They're going to be like, oh, so Charleston, what exactly do you mean at this this part right here? We just let it play, you feel me, so everybody can hear. What did you mean? What your wag gonna say? I say because I think about the things I say. What did people around you say? Because he thinks about the things he say. He done. He done. He's done. It's over. Like your mom or maybe Dewberry or there's people in your circle 
do they agree with everything you do? Like, is there somebody in your circle that's like, Charleston, you taking it too far, my nigga? No. Hell no. Is, is that because you don't allow people in your circle that don't agree with you? Like, you like people that agree with everything you do? Or they just, y'all all think alike? Oh, uh, we all think alike. Both? My mother, my mother. Now you getting them caught up now. Now you getting them caught up now. You feel me? Now they gonna be like, okay, so so these these not witnesses, no. These cold defendants or whatever, yeah. These niggas trying to get out of the situation just like you now, cause mm hmm, this y'all case. This ain't just your case no more. You said they agree with you, right? All the same shit. Say less. Two for one ski. That what they know a like. lot. Well, I played, what? Charles is snitched on y'all. It's over with. Mother don't watch social media at all. So she don't know what I say. But she didn't heard me say somebody did. Kids say, son, I'm not supposed to say that. She say what you say. Some, I say, mama, if that's true, then why your ties ain't multiplying? Damn. If that's true, so I say, mama, that's y'all belief. M maybe it's multiplying in health. Everything don't got to be money, though. Man, my mama done caught coronavirus seven times. <laughs> Yo, shut the fuck up. Why, why are you laughing, though? Would you, would you, would you think he capping? You must don't think it's real or something. Don't let them find out you don't think it's real now. <laughs> then my mama done had the COVID-19 seven times. COVID? Oh, nah, she ain't had it, boy. Y'all self-diagnosed it over there, boy. She had the COVID? Yeah, nah, nah, nah. She good. She good. She rocking. She probably got it once. <laughs> and she got the vaccine. Shut the fuck up, bro. Nigga, I don't, who want to multiply in health? Don't nobody want to multiply in health the way we eat? We want money. Nigga don't want to be healthy, bro. Nigga rather be unhealthy rich. So no, nigga, listen. All that fairy tale, Bible, religious, Quran, Buddhist, Torah talk. Homie, listen. The people who live against that shit live longer and better. The people who sin and break rules, don't wash their hands, don't use condoms, sleep with random people, they live a vibrant, healthy motherfucking life with no problems and issues. Say what you want to say, do what you want to do. But homie, I've said worse. Nigga, I wish R-A-P-E on A-S-I-A-N babies. I done said worse. I made a whole song talking about K-I-L, a white man, R-A-P-E, a white woman, and a white baby in the head. I made uh, a song. We got, uh, yeah, we got to bleep this out, man. <laughs> you said so now, homie, so I said worse. She ain't talking about bleeping nothing else out till you got to talk in this crazy right here. So I don't know. He probably did say worse now. Matter of fact, I just lost my Instagram account. They Again. took my Instagram for promoting sex trafficking. Because I said I'm looking for sex. They took my Instagram for that. It says sex. So they supposed to just let you keep it, huh? They supposed to let you buy it back? They supposed to have somebody uh get it back unbanned, right? You asking to get your shit banned, bro? Like, what you expect, bro? That's like when Boosie talking about this is my 15th page and then he go live later on that day talking about put your pussy lips on live for a thousand dollars all right come on man you can't bro make it make sense bro sex, promoting sex trafficking you just complain I for nothing now worse it's called karma that's it catch it up with you you just said what happened to karma Nigga, when there you go. look at my actions in life you can't never there hear go. nobody say what i've done it's always what he said. So I stand on the fact that actions speak louder than words. I can come online in my character form and say F all the dead people I want, just like the rappers, and cut the phone off and go work in the community and act like I ain't said nothing. Just like the rappers. Bullshit. Yeah, no man. I mean, every like I said, every event on Easter Sunday. Where we came mean, to the crib, at my house. You, huh? Where we the came discussion. to the yeah, we ain't gonna um, say too every much. Every phone call. You know, have you spoke to Charleston? Yeah. Is he the gonna apologize? No, he... I'm not gonna apologize. I hope. I the hope. Reds, I made you know what I'm talking about? Cry what? With these words. 
I don't care about hurting no nigga feelings. No, you're going too far. Don't give a damn about that, my nigga. If we get into it, my nigga, it's on. It's on. How'd you get those text messages that you shared, though? The, the promoter sent it to? I mean, the, the guy that y'all were partnering with, <laughs> nah, he sent it to? Nah, the update, the drop. my business partner. Or this Why leaks? wouldn't he send it to Not them leaks. Be Show OPG. compassion for him. Why wouldn't my nigga send it to me? And I, I went publicly, nigga. I stood out before the world. And I went against a friend. I stood out before the world and I went against a friend, somebody I respect and admire, and said, nah, homie, you wrong. Let the man make it. I defended him. So why wouldn't my nigga come back and share this with me and he saw me do this? Some people say, well, he don't want to upset a friend. I'm the kind of friend, go be mad if you don't upset me, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm a, no, nigga, no. You said, no, nigga, no. This ain't me and my bitch. Now, I can see, this ain't got, this me and my, this, this me and another nigga. So if my partner, my friend, my business, yeah, nigga, let me know what this whole ass nigga done said. Hmm. When you read that, I mean, what was that? Was you, was you, was you hurt? Was you angry? Was you disappointed? Did you feel, um, Betrayed. Like what, when you read that Gilly, when he said all that. Oh, uh, I thought to myself, you should have made fun of his son the day he died, nigga. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have, you should have made fun of him that day. That nigga heartless. That's what man. you get for showing compassion. I was taught, and I believe that only the strong can show compassion for the weak. Yeah, that real. So I was strong, homie, in, in showing him some compassion. And uh, I regretted it. Yeah, yeah, I regretted it. That's why I got so ugly. Yeah, yeah, I was disappointed in myself. Yeah, I should have been mean from the get-go. When the I get I why he took the apology the back, but I don't get why he wired out it the way he had yeah, to. Yeah, like, yeah, well, he ain't had to do all that now. No, you ain't had to do all that now. I myself for giving that whole ass nigga some compassion. Damn! When that bitch that nigga didn't deserve it. God. Yeah. The the Pop Hunter shit was <laughs> fucked up because he was a kid at the time. But then it's like now if you pay attention, it's a lot of rappers who ratted afterwards and got away with it. And but, still cool, still getting big interviews, still that getting real, that now. limelight. But Pop what? Hunter as a kid. Talk your shit, Sean. After that came out, everybody shut you him, blew him up. You and what, exposed what, what, him at the same time. What, Sean? Dirty motherfucker, boy. Sean Cotton, boy. You... Phew. I ain't gonna say dirty. You you a different breed, boy. That boy, that boy a motherfucker blow you up, right? And fucking try to take you down at the same time. That's that what they say, they'll build you up to take you down. He, he front line with it. I'm talking about, he blew you up from the ground up. Nobody knew about you. Now everybody know about you. Now he posting, ugh, hoes expose you. He posting motherfucker, he ratting. Yeah, you should be ratting. But still, he gonna post it. He ain't gonna let everybody up, but nah, that's his content too. Boy, you need all the breach, boy. You a fucking asset the whole time. You think, nah, he ain't no liability. That's why he posted everything. He used you. He probably signed you too, huh? Yeah, no, nah, it's part of it's part of the deal. You signed up for this. Ideas, uh Now Sean different though, boy. You different. Be because of what I because different. of that situation, homie, this kid went to the verge of, of almost suicide. Yep. Let, come on, homie. They pushed this man. This kid was at the height of of of, of his rap career. Had one of the biggest song with Uzi Vert, little Uzi yep, Vert. Yeah, Corvette, Corvette. My ball niggas wear they hat like that. Gilly Nim was the one put that paperwork out Him because he was crazy. pop hunter popping, and he and he wasn't a street kid. I still got a little hairline left. Him for talking gangster, put the paperwork out, and Cheese was supposed to blow. Oh, up. that's what that is. Okay, okay. Gilly them did that. So when I didn't know nothing about none of this, I just know the whole rap community was shaming this kid, Pop Hunter. I done my first interview with you talking about it. That's what made Gilly threaten me. And nigga threatened me, homie. That nigga threatened to call me bodily harm because I done an interview. Why wouldn't I diss his kid when I showed compassion and mercy for him, even after he threatened me? Talk to me like, like he'll slap me. Nigga, I'll shoot you in your face, nigga. Mm. Nigga, you slap me, you'll get wallow shot too. Mm. 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 
I, I'm gonna go. Sure, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go lab, to no. the mental hospital, homie, and, and say, hey, y'all said I was homicidal and suicidal by ideation and preparation. These nigga playing with me. These nigga playing with me. They threatening me. I'm responding to threats. Yeah, why son don't be in the same room as them asking these questions? Well, you know, he, I didn't wake up and say, hey, he sad question. Nah, hey, man, he, what's up with you, bro? Nah, but switch up the question, bro. Nigga, leave. I didn't wake yeah, up looking for trouble. Leave, bro. I showed don't compassion. Even after he threatened me, I let it go. So, nigga, I got every right to do what I'm doing. I keep telling y'all I'm willing to die and go to jail for the things that come out of my mouth. I, I'm willing to die, kill, and go to jail for this shit I'm saying. Nigga, you don't think I know this shit dangerous? How long y'all been saying I'm going to get How long y'all been saying I'm banned? How many long? How long y'all been saying karma go get me? It's been five years now. Nigga, hit me sleep in the barbershop, nigga. I'm out on two felony bonds for that. Damn. I'm, I'm out on two felony bonds for that. Nigga, you can't do nothing to me and I not respond. I'm out of two felony bonds for that barbershop duos? incident. Duos? Why? Hey, I mean, did you duos. chase him or some shit? Uh, I'm out on two felony bonds, nigga. Mm. So if you do something to me, I'm going to do something, nigga. I'm out on two felony bonds. Damn. You got that money. 